community healthcare workers is a unique category in the health sector. Its uniqueness is in the sense that it has its position between the government and the community. What that means is that community healthcare workers must be accountable to both these parties, the government and the community. You can imagine what a difficult task that is. Apart from that, community healthcare workers meet the people where they are, and so they know the real issues which are at stake. A community health worker uh, is defined as a health worker who come from the communities they serve and are answerable to the community and receive training that is shorter than that is required for doctors, nurses or other health care workers who have been trained to some extent but do not possess a formal professional certificate. In addition to the delicate position which they have to handle, community health care workers also meet a number of challenges. The challenges are so many. Since we are dealing with the community, in our health setting nowadays, most, uh, most of the interventions are coming directly to the community. And they are meeting with the HSAs. So the most challenge that we are having in the HSAs is the workload. People were being involved in several activities. As I've mentioned, we deal with the under five clinics, saving the under five on immunizations, TB follow-ups, and we're even saving the community on hygiene and sanitation, and the patient follow-up. So you can see that the, the activities are so many, and the time management is also challenging, because all those things are supposed to manage it. Poor supervision, Delays in deployment after training, lack of trainings, shortage of staff, and poor supply of resources are also listed among the challenges. This issue of personal protective equipment is a challenge. The rule of using face masks is that it should be discarded after four hours. But we are given one mask for the whole day. Suppose that I'm in the labor and blood has splashed even onto my face mask. I'll remove it. I have no option. I'll be without a mask, which means I am not protecting myself and the patient. I worked hard when I was about to get a leave. When the day came, I was told that it wasn't possible because my shift workmate also went on a leave to take care of her sick mother. So I enjoyed and continued working. When I was about to take a leave again, I was also denied for the reason that my workmate had attended the engagement of our child. I continued working until my body gave up through sickness so much that I couldn't manage to work. For HSAs, lack of promotion is a big challenge. There are some who are currently totally discouraged because promotions missed them. The likes of those who started work in 1993, maybe 1990s, even way before I started work in 1996. Look at it in this way, that that group has not been promoted and I should be there supervising them. How can they feel? Many of them became disheartened and have reached an extent of writing retirement letters. With that in mind, one would expect community health care workers to be the most organized in a world where everybody has to fend for themselves. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It could well be said that as things stand presently, Community health care workers is one of the most disorganized categories. No association, no union, simply nothing. It is in view of that, that with funding from Public Services International, PSI, the National Organization of Nurses and Midwives of Malawi, NOM, Water Employees Trade Union of Malawi, WETUM, and Civil Servants Trade Union, CSTU, embarked on a project to train community health care workers about unionism. Why this project? 
we are promoting social dialogue to improve working conditions for the community health worker in Malawi. Community health workers are essential card in driving forward efforts to achieve universal health coverage. They deliver basic preventive, promotive, curative and rehabilitative health services at the community level. The overall goal of the project is to encourage community healthcare workers to form their own union or to join already existing relevant trade unions in the health sector. In fact, in this training we have involved a consultant who developed a manual which is going to guide us throughout the project. And this consultant is the one who is training all these the community health workers. So we are actually 100% sure that they will be injected with the real ideas on how to implement this project by this consultant. Here we have learned a lot of things. For example, us as HSAs, we haven't joined any union in this country. So, we have seen that this training has helped us a lot because we have seen where we can go. For instance, CSTU is a union which we can join, but we can also form our own union as HSAs. They have given us this expertise of how we can form a union. What we have learned here will help us. We will be hardworking knowing that we have a union which represents us. We will also strive to lower others to become members of the union because we have known the benefits of belonging to a union. Through the project, NOM, WETUM and CSTU have trained at least 95 community health care workers in trade unionism and social dialogue. I was not aware that we as the civil servants, we can join the, what you call the civil service trade union. And with this civil service trade union, after joining it, that means you have joined that union, you are a member. So whatever the challenges that you are facing at your working station, you can address to the civil service trade union so that you are being covered. And you have learned a lot on what you call collective bargaining. At the end of this meeting, as I'm going back to my health facility in Malamolo, I will try to meet my colleagues and I will try to talk to them on what is the importance of collective bargaining, which can help us on our on social intervention of our challenges at our working place. We had nowhere to go. We didn't know that there is this union of civil servants which can help us with our complaints. Now we know that for this problem, we can take it here or there and will be assisted, or that this problem can be solved at a facility level or district level. In the year 2022, PSI affiliates are looking forward to training more community health care workers in the same way. In 2022, we are going to hold uh, joint workshops uh, with the community health care workers. Uh, this includes uh, HSIs, uh, community midwives assistants, uh, volunteers, and we also uh, uh, include uh, members of the Afri affiliated unions. I would like to thank NOM for coordinating the project, CSTU and WETU as affiliates to PSI and uh, would also like to thank Public Services International and SASK for funding this project. Thank you so much.